Hopefully by now, you Outlander fans have been able to watch the season 4 finale of the Stars drama series. It was heartbreaking, as some of the best scenes in the series have been. Without pain, without loss, the triumphant moments don't ring quite as clear, as we've experienced across four seasons of the Fraser family saga. If you don't want to know what happened in the finale, you should probably go catch up now, as we're going pretty deep into spoiler territory. At the end of season 4 Jamie, Sam Hewen, Claire, Katrina Balfe, and Ian, John Bell, have at long last located Roger, Richard Rankin, and are doing their damnedest to bring him back in one piece to Brianna, Sophie Skelton, who is in the process of giving birth back at Aunt Joe Casta's, Maria Doyle Kennedy, River Run Plantation House. Murta, Duncan LaCroix, and Joe Casta have dot dot come to an understanding of sorts and the matter of a warrant for his arrest has sort of been pushed to the nightstand. Executive producer Stoney Graffia, Matthew B. Roberts, and Meryl Davis went in-depth with their post-finale chat, touching on pretty much every little story element in the episode. So, on to the particularly heartbreaking scene, which you can see here in its entirety. John Bell, who plays Ian, spoke with TV Line about the scene. He doesn't feel like he's made the wrong decision. My first thoughts were on how beautifully it harkens back to. That moment way back in the beginning, where Jamie is comforting him about PTSD. It's really beautiful to see the two men open up. TV line adds here that later in the interview, Bell remembers that during the filming of that grave digging scene, Dewey, aka the dog that plays Rolo, was moaning, yelping and barking whenever I would break down because he wanted to run over and help me. Droughtlander begins this weekend, and with it, the promise of seasons 5 and 6, which stars already picked up. So theoretically, this won't be the last time we see Ian. Keep an eye out for news about the Outlander season 4 soundtrack from series composer Bear McCreary soon. Bleeding cool news editor Mary Ann Butler, Mab, for short has been part of the fast-paced world of journalism since she was 15, getting her start in album reviews and live concert coverage for a nationally published, print, music magazine. She eventually transitioned to online media, writing for such sites as Ugo slash IGN, Comics Online, Geek Magazine, Ace of Geeks, Aggressive Comics, where she is still editor-in-chief, and most recently Bleeding Cool. Over the past 10 years, she's built a presence at conventions across the globe as a cosplayer, occasionally, photographer, constantly, panelist and moderator, mostly, and reporter, always. Interviews, reviews, observations, breaking news, and objective reporting are the name of the game for the founder of Harkonnen Knife Fight, a Dune-themed band with an international presence.